Hi class, uh, welcome to IS 45 and 585. I'm Professor Fahmi Jalani. Today we cover chapter 10 on uh, global ethics and security management. So, uh, as we all know that uh, in general, uh, outsourcing uh, helps the organization uh, in terms of uh, saving costs, uh, simplify uh, implementation and also in terms of uh, recruiting staff um, other than that uh, we'll take a look at uh, what the strategy of outsourcing or oversight uh, relationship with partners and most importantly security so in outsourcing is technically a company outsource uh, their work in this case uh, software ERP okay. and uh, if under contract uh, with price and period uh, today it's quite common for MNC or uh, organization to outsource their uh, back end um, to countries like uh, Philippines, India, okay, and also Vietnam, uh, where labor are there quite cheap, and and they are quite skilled. Okay. Let's take a look at the relationship. So we have the customer, the company, and the outsourcer, where. Um, there, there is a need for interaction and transparency between uh, all three parties. So, let's discuss on the benefit of outsourcing. So, first we have uh, in terms of economic, it's much cheaper to outsource. Uh, where in fact, currency and Hiring is much cheaper than overseas, and uh, with the growing factor of uh, labor in uh, this country, okay, you you are able to solve problem quickly, and not forgetting the skill that they have, okay, uh, also uh, expertise in technical. And also feedback points. Uh, continuing. So uh, also uh, they do include a uh, best practice. In this case, uh, ERP. Uh, most of the companies they are doing outsourcing uh, do have experience in only one company or several companies. Uh, scalability. Okay, uh, you allow you are allowed to increase uh, vast amount of uh, this uh, uh, resources okay. and in this case a manpower okay. and they also uh, there's a system of process which is quite systematically uh, at a lower cost with uh, at the same time uh, result oriented or solution centric and there's no need for you to up have problems upgrading your system or in fact uh, distraction some of the drawbacks or weaknesses okay, is advantage okay. and there are sometimes there are lack of expertise in this case uh, there could be misinterpretation of uh, the outcome or the the output that you, the company require okay. uh, where there goes to misalignment expectation okay. uh, certain countries they have certain culture uh, which could be a clash and not forgetting some hidden costs. Okay. Uh, 
uh, could be text okay. or other red tape um, continuing a uh, lot of vision okay. uh, where with lack of transparency of constant feedback from both party uh, the output could be scramble okay. other than that we have uh, security and control okay, where three secret need to be uh, kept strictly okay. and uh, there are times where high over uh, turnover rate also impact uh, the software the output so next take a look at uh, offshore okay, or which is outsourcing so pretty much a company would select uh, where they gonna outsource it okay, another country uh, cost talk about cost and uh, and also uh, this would also involve uh, communication where languages could be a barrier okay. so what are the projects or items that company do usually outsource okay. we have a call center okay. uh, sometimes when you those of you who done Grubhub or Uber or any other uh, job that requires you to contact the call center when you have a problem could be outsourced to Philippines for example okay. uh, other could be email management okay. uh, telemarketing okay. it's not as famous as today uh, other than that we have web chat Next, we have uh, global ERP. Okay, so in this case, uh, outsourcing to uh, vendors, uh, companies should consider about their selection in terms of uh, qualification, certification, okay, and technical expertise. So, other than that, uh, company should be prepared in this case uh, if there's a disaster or a war uh, other mishap okay. what are they going to do uh, what's the backup plan and culture also is, is another thing uh, take a look at the soft skill okay. uh, some of the factors alternatively uh, companies could use uh, SAS or service software as a service okay, where software are being rented uh, as and when okay. and uh, only browser uh, are being used okay. and this is uh, lowest lower risk some benefit would be uh, is quite universal access where it reduces the learning curve uh, uh, cost reduction uh, we mentioned earlier uh, easy to switch okay ease of use in this case uh, and allows customization uh, uh, global market uh, reality of the web uh, Technically, uh, you must have a good connection of the internet and transparent security and trust. Okay. Uh, having said that, there are some limitations okay, uh, in terms of privacy. So, and what are some of the tasks allowed for individual user? And uh, there is some uh, significant investment. But having said that, uh, 
the traditional ERP could be cheaper uh, in this case 3 or 5 years as compared to SAS okay, it depends on the company uh, types of SAS we have ASP or application service provider okay. uh, this is basically hosting a company widely or SOD or software on demand okay. and where the software is being duplicated and could be used over the internet best practice uh, in sourcing okay, where there is a representative of the company to supervise the work okay, and not forgetting uh, governance okay, um, which involve processes okay. next we have uh, installation upgrade okay, uh, And then we have accountability where the outsource company uh, the company doing the outsource uh, we have must have the responsibility of in the case uh, any problem or any fault expediency uh, the loss uh, partnership and which is uh, quite beneficial for both so that pretty much it for the class today uh, if you have any question please feel free to email me for appointment or drop by my office stay safe and thanks bye